Welcome to D-Colony. Good day buddies. D-Colony here, wishing for you and your family's safety. Today, we will be reviewing an ant keeping product. Well, it's not really made for ant keeping. But I saw it being advertised online, as an ant collecting tool. I've been using it for more than 6 months now buddies, so I think I can now give, an honest review about this product. I just keep it spots, cause of this review I planned several months ago. Anyway, if you will buy this, it will arrive with this box. And the real product name was separating mini electric vacuum cleaner. Not queen and vacuum as I saw on advertisement online. It's really made for cars and gadgets cleaning purposes. But in this video, you will find out if this tool, will really make some of our ant keeping duties, easier. Anyway, you will received it with the parts separated. I accidentally dropped it once a while back, so, we got a cracked on this part. Luckily, it doesn't affect the overall performance of the product. To make it operate buddies we need 4 AA size batteries, which doesn't come with the product. Luckily I have this rechargeable batteries at home. And there's a guide here for opening and locking this part. We just need to use this guides for attaching this part. And for this spin, we just need to align the lock from the opening properly and just twist it. And this nozzle here. This one can be used in collecting queen ants, and easier collection of ant escapees. Although, I haven't tried it yet on escapees, cause I didn't have that problem yet, for the past months since I got this tool. I use it mainly buddies on ant farm cleaning duties. Speaking of, this nozzle is the one used for cleaning. Let's try it first on this sand particles. As you've witnessed all the sand was sucked up by this portable vacuum buddies. Next, we will try it on an actual ant farm, but, anyway, I bought it buddies for more than $10 in AliExpress. The link was on the description below. A friend of mine also bought his own tool like this buddies, for less than $5. At first I got jealous with the price he got, but found out later on, that he got a defective one. The fittings of his vacuum at the bin, and also here was not good. That makes the suction weak. He need to do this just to make his vacuum work though, I'm not telling you buddies that products on sale, or those on below $5 price was all defective. I'm just telling what's happened on my friend. I'm not also telling you, that those more expensive in price was always functional, sometimes it may take damage from shipping. Anyway, we have my DIY ant farm here, of my Faroe ants colony. Which you may watch here on the iCard, if you're interested in the build process of this formicarium. We will clean this ant farm using our vacuum, I haven't cleaned their out world for a while now buddies in purpose of this video. As we can see, there's a lot of ant garbages in their out world. We will use tweezers on this large insect's carcasses here. Cause it will not fit on our vacuum hose. But before that, we will reapply our olive oil barrier first buddies. Because I let the outworld to have so much waste, now, the brilliant ants started using this garbages on weakening the barrier. 
As you can see, they fill the oil with small waste particles. Once the barrier got enough debris, this clever ants will be able to cross them. Aren't they mind blowing? That's really the weakness of an olive oil barrier bodies. Some of you may tell, why not try using flow on? The answer buddies is. Pharaoh ants are one of the ants that can literally walk on flow on barrier. Based on my experience, olive oil is still the best on containing this ant species. Anyway, let me clean the dust first before applying a new barrier. Let's do it fast buddies, to reduce the number of ants going out. I'm using a tissue paper on cleaning the old barrier. They also place their dead sister's body here. They really using everything. your worst so you can just hide while i work i ain't tired you first i'll write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse you never did i know it hurts but something 